Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura, and it's never too late to make quick, easy Christmas stockings. They're this big or this big. They're perfect for gift cards or just to decorate a tree or a gift. And I promise you, they're super easy, and we get to start with pre-cuts. These little stockings are really quick and easy to make. What we need to start with are five inch squares and I do like using a set of pre-cuts and that way all of the edges have that pinked edge so I don't have to worry about turning any edges over and it won't fray. I will need two squares for the bottom and two squares for the cuffs and I'm going to be making more than one so I'm going to bring my whole stack right to the iron and get them prepared to go to the sewing machine. For the two pieces that are going to be the cuffs, I need to take them and press them both in half. I will then take these halves and put them right on top of my fabric. And in this case, I do have a directional fabric, so I'm going to make sure it's going in the right direction. Open up that fold of fabric and just take any glue that we're going to be able to sew over top and just put a little bead of glue right along that top edge. And then with that piece opened, overlap about a half an inch. What I will do is I'm going to line up my two squares so that my overlap is going to be the same. And then without pressing that fold, I'm just going to set that glue. Gluing this on is going to save me a ton of time. And it also makes sure that they're the same size. Turn them over. Put some glue on the end of that cuff. And it's really just a little bit. It's just to replace the pins. Fold it over. We already have that fold line and press it dry. Because I'm making more than one, I'm going to make a stack. And I'm going to be able to bring this whole stack right to my sewing machine. I'm needing to do a row of stitching right along that cuff. So I'm going to be able to chain piece these through the machine. I do want to do one row of stitching and that's going to hold that cuff onto that fabric. So here's a straight stitch a heavy zigzag stitch, just a regular zigzag stitch. Now that I have those cuffs stitched onto this area, line up that top fold and match up the sides. Don't worry about the bottom if you're a little off. It's more important that this fold is matching. I do like to just press those together. Once we have those two pieces together, we're going to just draw a shape of a stocking. I'll put a link in the description so you can print this out, but really any shape of a stocking is going to be fine. Put that top cuff right along the top fold and trace out that stocking. Once that little stocking has been traced out, on my pattern I do have a little notch there, and that's just a reminder that we need to put a little piece of ribbon in and the ribbon can be really any size. Fold it in half, and where that little notch is, we're just going to place that fold inside. So we have the loop inside and the cut ends towards that seam. Now just pin those layers together, keeping that top fold together. So I have the little ribbon stuck in there. Now I can just go and stitch right on top of that line. This line is the stitching line. Back stitch a little bit at the top, go all the way around, and back stitch. When we do stitch all the way around, if you take your machine and put it to smaller stitches than you're used to, it's going to be really easy to turn all of these corners. The only thing left to do is cut it out and just leave a little bit of a seam allowance. 
And if you have pinking shears, this is definitely a fun time to use them. Before I turn it right side out, I do like to just give it a good press. And now, turn it right side out. And if you do it while the fabric is warm, you can sort of press it with your fingers as it's cooling down. So all of those edges will come out. With that final little pressing, our stockings are now done. And we're going to be able to make a lot of these in a really short period. Now on the pattern, you might have noticed there's a little stocking. Well, that's made to do two and a half inch squares. I'm going to treat those two and a half inch squares the same way, gluing that cuff on so that that fabric is tucked up inside and it looks nice from both sides. Do a row of stitching, place them together, trace them out, and don't forget to add that little piece of ribbon to go up near the top, stitch and trim. When you're tracing out that little stocking, if you don't have enough room, just move it up a little bit. It really doesn't matter that size. That little notch is just to remind you to put a little piece of ribbon in there. Using those small stitches will help you turn those corners and pinking shears are definitely a lot of fun to use. A little press and turn it right side out. So we now have one completed mini little stocking. So they can be made with two and a half inch squares, five and a half inch squares, or really any size squares you want. We just need to do some sort of a stocking shape. And these will be a lot of fun to put gift cards in or little presents or just little decorations for the tree. So we have the small ones and we also have our really small ones. They're quick and easy and they're made from pre-cuts. I'll put a link in the description to the PDF if you'd like it, but you really can just draw your own Christmas stocking because everyone is allowed to be unique. And they're a lot of fun to make regardless if they're small or micro small. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy and feel free to subscribe and come on back. Let's see what we're working on next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.